This is Prime News. I'm Michael Anas, and we have breaking news for you on the little girl abandoned at a gas station. It's at a gas station bathroom in Delaware. We've been covering this for a few days now. Hearts breaking as we see this adorable little toddler, those innocent big eyes coming at you. She was found Sunday again in a men's room. Well, now there's an arrest. Her father just charged with kidnapping and endangering the welfare of a child. And it gets worse. Police have found a burned female body in a park in Muncie, New York. Uh, cops say this could be linked. We'll take your calls on this. one 877 tell hln Joining me to talk about this, Robin Sachs, former sex crimes prosecutor. Also with us, investigator Steve Rogers, Detective Lieutenant, Nutling, New Jersey Police Department. Uh, all right, Steve, I'll start with you. Where do you begin as an investigator on something like this? Because we were just shocked to see this cute little girl abandoned like this. How do detectives begin to trace back and connect the father here? Well, there'll be a couple of things they'll do. First, uh, Mike, the forensics teams will go to the crime scene, if you will, where the body of the uh, burned woman was uh, located. Uh, and that's where they get a good handle on the cause of death. And uh, soon enough, they'll find out uh, any relatives or friends of hers. And then at that point in time, they're going to build a timeline with regards to the father, and uh, soon, very soon, I believe, they're going to connect the dots. Okay. Robin Sachs, you look at this cute little girl, and you just you can just see the pain on her face as we look at that picture. How do you deal with her? To, you, you want to get information? We hear she's been asking for mommy, not daddy. What do you do with that as we, as we work through this? As a prosecutor... The best approach would be a team approach, a multidisciplinary approach, where you have the prosecutor's office, law enforcement, and the Department of Children and Family Services working together as a team. At a very young age, it will be difficult for her, who to, her to know who is who, who represents what, mm -hmm. and the idea is for everyone to assess together as a group to decide who the point person is going to be to provide her the most support, which will hopefully bring out some answers. Yeah, we hope she's doing okay. Again, she was placed in a temporary situation with a family, in a temporary foster care situation. Uh, Steve, you look at this again. We, uh, our timeline's huge here, obviously. Little girl found Sunday. Uh, well, what do you do to trace back to find out uh, about the body of this woman that could be linked to the father here, Dwayne Jackson? Well, as soon as the uh, forensic teams might build a timeline and uh, estimate uh, how long this woman has been dead, uh, this guy, this fellow that they arrested, he's going to have to have some quite, uh, quite, quite a, an alibi. He's going to have to let the police know where he was during the period of time that they believe this woman was uh, burned. Okay. Again, this is early as we're just getting this information. Robin, what... What do you see unfolding here? What kind of a uh, timeline do you see? I mean, a lot of people would just, y y you conjecture that he took the little girl and may have attacked the mom here. How, how, do you, how do you think this played out? Well, Steve brings up an excellent point from the forensic point of view, but it's also going to be about looking into the past to put some perspective. Very often a crime is more than just the act that happened, but actually all the behavior and everything in between. So what's going to be happening, our investigators are going to look into prior records, prior domestic uh, violence cases, prior child abuse claims, prior Department of Children and Family Services reports to build some sort of history to then be able to question this little two-year-old about what happened and have some perspective while they're waiting for the forensics to come back. Okay. Steve, is forens forensics is it. It's the forensics and the little girl. That's what you have, right? Oh, that, that, that's what they have, but it's, it's very good. And, you know, Robin brings up a good point, Mike. Uh, burning of a body is very personal. There could be a history of uh, violence that they may found out if, indeed, he's connected to the mother. So uh, forensics is it right now, but don't be surprised if during the course of an interview with him, they get more information. Steve, as you deal with this cute little girl, you, you want to get some information, obviously. Uh, but now you know the father, so you can go to family, friends, right, to begin to piece together the puzzle of what was going on in the home, what was going on with the relationship between the father, this little girl, and also the mom. Well, that's absolutely right. Once they start interviewing the father, then his friends, then family members, there may be, if indeed he's connected to the mother or to this woman, a, a history of domestic violence, which is going to be very, very key in this case. Okay. And Robin, as a prosecutor, that's got to be one of your first interviews. You talked about piecing together the past, the history, criminal history, if there is one, right? That's absolutely right. That's, that's what we call the good stuff, those prior bad acts, whether they were even charged or convicted in many states is admissible. So just by virtue of those facts and that history existing can help corroborate or at least put some perspective in this case. And by law, that's kind of the Nicole Brown Simpson part of mm -hmm. evidence law that we've seen where the prior bad acts come in. Okay. Uh, again, an arrest. 
the father of this cute little toddler. Uh, we're still trying to figure out exactly how old she is, what her name is. She's doing well in foster care. Now, this man, her father, Dwayne Jackson, has been possibly linked to another incident, a burned body found in New York, little girl found in Delaware. Just getting information on this. We'll keep you posted. Steve, Robin, guys, thanks so much. And coming up, new information about breaking news. We told you.